Hey, it's all with another video. Today, we're going to talk about how to obtain tier pieces in patch 9.2 while trying to avoid dealing with people, which is virtually impossible to do anyway. Uh, this is a very weird kind of guide, so bear with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and like the video, like it right now, just out of faith, pure faith. And let's get started. There are a lot of folks out there who love the World of Warcraft, but for their own personal reasons and circumstances, they don't want to deal with people. There's all sorts of discussion on the philosophy of whether an MMORPG like World of Warcraft automatically means you must group with people. However, we're not going to be getting into that here. In today's reality, in patch 9.2, if one wants to acquire their coveted tier set with the looks and bonuses, you will have to group, but it might be a bit easier than it was before. I'm here to point out the options available to you so you can ask yourself, huh, do I want to do that? Followed by what could be a big fat no, but I'm glad you at least clicked on this video because if nothing else, you're interested to learn. We'll start off easy. The most well-known and arguably easiest source of tier is going to be from Raid Finder difficulty. You can start farming for tier as Raid Finder opens at the same time as Mythic difficulty of the Sepulchre. Every two weeks, the second and third wings of the raid open up, and more tier has an opportunity to drop. The strengths of the raid finder angle is that you can solo queue. Sure, you might not know what you're doing, maybe you don't care to read the dungeon journal. Of course, odds are good that more than half the raid didn't either, and there's nothing wrong with blind progression, right? Raid Finder is the most direct way to get the gear, and despite the long wait for it to open up, it is a little bit faster than waiting for the creation catalyst, which I'll talk about a little later. As for weaknesses, the item level is pretty low at only 239. Over time, you'll be able to get higher item level gear from Zareth Mortis the Zone, to the tune of item level 252. You're probably familiar with this method of gearing as well with weekly events. Completing five time walking dungeons during the event awards a piece of normal quality raid gear, including maybe tier. Like Raid Finder, you can solo queue time walking. Of course, the problem with this is that the event is very infrequent. You get one chance at this gear during the event, which happens every three weeks. And according to natural law, what you get from that quest box is never anything that you want. Before moving on, let's talk about the Creation Catalyst, which redefines the way tier is obtained, or in this case, transformed. It's a feature coming 8 weeks into patch 9.2 that converts regular gear into tier pieces. But at the moment, the only gear that can be transformed is season gear, as in stuff you get from raids, PvP, the Great Vault, and Mythic Plus. That means if you happen to get a regular chest piece from the Raid Finder or the Weekly Event Chest, for example, you can turn that into a tier set piece using Cosmic Flux, a plentiful resource that you can get from mostly farming Xerath Mortis content. Gear turned into tier will have its stats fixed, but certain attributes will follow. This means that PvP gear that is turned into tier can still be upgraded with Conquest, and will still provide a PvP bonus. Mythic Plus gear can also be upgraded depending on their Mythic Plus score. Once this feature is opened, if you've saved your gear, you'll have this renewed life pumped into them by converting desired items into tier. Unfortunately, I can't answer every question about the catalyst like what the gear looks like. Now let's go back and look at more weekly events. Thanks to the Creation Catalyst, a possibility opens up with PvP Battlegrounds. One Battleground when a day scores you some conquest. The Weekly Brawl awards more by completing one and turning in a quest for more conquest. This can be spent on epic PvP gear that can then be converted into tier. It's convoluted? Yeah, maybe, but it is a path to item level 249 tier through solo queuing. And now let's talk about the dungeon event and mythic dungeons. When the dungeon event comes around, completing 4 mythic dungeons, as low as regular mythic zeros, you can get a goody chest with heroic raid gear. Maybe it's tier, maybe it's not, but maybe you can later convert these pieces into tier. The drawbacks to this event include that it's not very frequent, but even worse, this is not queuable. You'll have to find a team of friends or pugs from the group finder tool. But the big plus that I'm seeing comes from running the dungeons themselves and the gear that it drops. When Season 3 begins, regular Mythic Dungeons will drop gear with an item level of 236. That's a little bit higher than max level Corthia gear. On top of that though, the gear from Mythic Zeros can be upgraded, which might be a big deal. I'm assuming here, but it's super likely that Mythic Zero gear can be turned into tier pieces, meaning that they can be upgraded. In Season 3, their item level can be upgraded to 252 before Mythic Plus score requirements kick in. This will put this gear right on par with other gear dropped in the late stages of Xerath Mortis progression. 
Of course, there is a catch. Upgrading this gear requires Valor, and there's not a lot of available Valor if you don't run any Mythic Plus, or it's subject to a growing seasonal cap, but it can otherwise be farmed pretty freely. Covenant Callings are your only source of Valor, to the depressing tune of roughly 300 Valor per week, making your route to upgrades very, very slow. Let's wrap things up. Obtaining tier gear will challenge players to group with other people to defeat either PvE or PvP content. For some people, it's just not worth the trouble, but I wanted to present all the options and possibilities for you so you can make an informed decision, which includes to lodge complaints that there's gotta be a better way. I hope this helps somehow. If so, do hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.